Things are coming along nicely on Mars, and we're about ready to begin building the infrastructure needed to get some humans here and actually populate our base with living people. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Surviving Mars. So, so last time we managed to start our base, but it's gone a little downhill since then. You can see here that wind turbines are breaking down because we are out of mechanical parts. And the same here with the water extractor that's also broken. And our dumping site is increasing in size, so that's going to be an ever-growing issue for us. Uh, so there's a lot of things we need to figure out what to do about. But we do have a, I think a rocket, we have a rocket incoming. Um, that should carry some with us, uh, with it. While I was getting ready to record, you can see here that we had a sector scanned. If we zoom out, so you can see the sectors. You can see this sector here finished, and it discovered an anomaly. So we are going to take our exploration vehicle, and we're going to send that over to scan the anomaly. We'll make that go a little faster. Ooh, look at that. So we researched it, and we managed to get some, uh, some research uh, done by gaining some... Um, um, some research points. We've got a thousand research points, which is really nice. So we can also see while we can send this one back to our base now. While we've been waiting for that, our rocket has also now arrived. It's now in orbit and we can land. But you saw last time when we sent it off, a lot of the robots around it kind of died or took damage. So we need to repair them. So in order to prevent that from happening in the future, what we will do is we will go into production and is it infrastructure, I think? Yes, landing pad. And you see, we just need concrete to build this, and we have a ton of concrete. Look at those stockpiled there. So I think, even though it's really big, we're going to build a, a landing pad. We're going to put it out here for now, kind of in this area, um, because we can already remove it later, I guess. And it's not too far from our storage area. We could maybe actually put it right here. I don't think that would be okay, right? Let's put it there, and we'll remove it later as our landing pad. And uh, the robots will now go and they will begin to pick up the concrete. Look at them go. And the landing pad is done. So now we can set the rocket to land on the landing pad. Oh, there it comes. Beautiful. And as soon as it lands, they should immediately begin to empty it out. And get all the materials that, uh, that we've been craving so far. Look at that. Look at all the nice materials. And they will even go straight over and begin repairing our uh, turbines and all the other stuff that's broken so we can get those things back up and running. Ah, okay. So, that's pretty stupid. I always thought that prefab was a resource. But it turns out... <laughs> I had to read up, read up, I couldn't figure out that prefab buildings are buildings prefabricated, of course, on Earth. And then flown via rocket to Mars, of course. And we'd also see the mechanical factory here actually needs to be inside a um, inside a dome. So I think the next logical step for us is to actually go ahead and begin expanding our dome. Again, we're going to kind of try to keep this area here as our um, um, as our factory area. We can expand out to, uh, to this area here. We might even go up and expand up in this area here if needed. Um, this area here is going to be our power uh, area, so we're gonna expand down to this area down here for um, um, for human buildings. At least we're gonna build a small colony here. I might go down and build something here, then build a shuttle that goes back and forth between it. But for now, at least, I think um, I'll go ahead and actually build our first dome. We're gonna put it up like here, right? Uh, it's a little close to this, but we should have enough room to expand that. Um, and I don't think we're gonna take up any precious resources by putting it there. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we just had a sector being scanned and we found underground metals. That might come in handy. Um, but we can't do it yet. We need colonists to operate um, metal extractors. And I guess those would be under... Not power, but infrastructure. Maybe production. Here we go. Rare metal extractors. Or metal extractors. I guess there's the metal extractor. Um, so we could build that over here. But we need people to actually operate it. Um, and it's quite a while to walk, or a distance to walk, so maybe we should even build a, uh, a smaller dome over here for, just for, res or just for, oh, that was close, just for keeping, um, some people who can live. Low. Resources are low again. 
What are we low on this time? Metals. Yeah, okay. So we really need those humans to come here so we can begin extracting some things. But we need that dome up and running. And I think it's still gathering material. We just need a lot of more concrete. But luckily we have a ton of concrete. If there's something we have, it's concrete. Complete. And Milestone achieved. done. Our dome is complete. Of course, we will still need to... Um, we need to hook this thing up to the power grid to start with. Power cable. So, uh, we'll do that. Hook that up to the power grid. It will probably need oxygen, I guess. Um, so we can probably... Where is that? Is that under... There we go. Hook that up to oxygen. And water too, I guess. So... I'm actually going to run it here along the power lines and then along the side of uh, of the building, like so. Okay, so the dome is now done and it's all powered up, has oxygen and you can look, it's like a nice little park area. But we'll need a variety of things in here that we better start building. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing ready so we can actually have some um, some people move in here. Uh, homes of the kitchen and research. I think our first priority should be to get some a living complex in here. This is going to give people a place to live and sleep. So we'll definitely need that. Then, what else will we need? Ha can't have apartments yet. Okay, so I guess we will have a hydroponic farm. Uh, can we rotate this? I think we can. Uh, I can't remember the Oh, there it is. We're going to build a hydroponic farm here. And we're also going to build... What are we going to build? I was looking for something. This research lab. I want that, but not now. Um, distribute hot meals and fresh... Per consumes food uh, on each visit. Yeah, so we can have the farm here that can produce food. And then we can have this that can actually distribute it out to, uh, to people. Uh, like, scanned. basically cooking it. Oh, there was a lot in that sector. Hold on, let's, let's get this thing rotated. Place that there, and let's see. That sector we just finished. Okay, so we have even more concrete here. And we have a ton of metals. How much is in this one? There's also a lot of metals here. Okay, so definitely lots and lots of materials. I think this rocket is empty now. Nope, it's still not empty. Why are they not emptying it? Ah! Oh, oh, that took me forever to figure out. Of course, I can't empty it because I don't have storage for it. I'll probably need to build a... Ah! Oh, of course, that took me a little while to figure out. Sorry for you guys who've been probably sitting shouting at me like, Why don't you empty your... So we're gonna build something. We have a concrete. We don't need food. Rare metals don't need that right now. Polymers... What was that I built? Uh, that was a polymer deposit. And I'm also going to build a... Electronics deposit. See, now we're talking. And we're also going to build a mechanical parts deposit over here. All in this area. So now they're emptying it. Oh my god, that took me forever to figure out. Okay. See, now we're talking. Now things are moving along. And we can send that rocket back pretty soon. Okay. In the meantime, we can see here this one needs workers, and I don't know how much food this one is producing. Um, but it will, it will need people. And just because I would really hate if people run out of food, and I, it, I have no idea if this is going to be overkill. It probably is, but I'm going to put in a second farm. Um, like right there. And I also want a research lab, so that, I mean, people can work in these. So they have, how many people need to work in these? You can see that different work shifts, right? So there is the uh, resources are low. Yes, I know. Where there's the first, re there's a first, uh, sh there's basically three shifts, like right? early morning, afternoon, and during middle of the night, right? And the same thing here. Um, so we need one to work these, we need three to work each of these. Uh, that gives us seven workers that we've occupied so far. And if we're also going to build ourselves a research lab. That will need people, and we're probably going to build other stuff like a, um, a what, there's supposed to be a nursery, and there's also, I saw somewhere, oh, we can build apartments now. Should we, just for good measures, build an apartment block too? 
That can probably hold a lot of people. I don't know. Um, I think I saw a nursery. Not a nursery. A there was a casino, open air gym, infirmary. You know what? I want an infirmary too. I'm gonna put that next to the research center. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the dome as it is right now. I built a uh, I built a diner. We have a space bar. What's the bar? space bar here? Did I build a diner? I, okay, I thought about building a diner. Not, not sure if I did. I hope they can just live off the groceries over here. Um, two research lab and a nursery. I have an open spot here, but I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, I'm not really building this. You can like bring whole families here if you want. Oh, I have a lot of buildings that's not working. Oh, because they don't have humans. Fair enough. Um, so I guess that's okay. I'll leave that open there, and we'll get some people in, beginning working this area. And that's going to be my main visitor center here. And I'm going to build... Um, I'm probably going to build a, uh, a factory over here in this area as well, where we are like a smaller dome, just with the living and then having people working this uh, metal extractor here. Um, but that's probably going to be the next step. But uh, let's get some passengers in... Um, so now that we ordered the rocket, because this is actually quite neat, you can really tinker a lot in this. So you can see here, this is all the people that you have available to you. And you can see they have different proficiencies, right? And these are the ones that are selected. We're going to have 12 on board. That was not a lot. It was a lot less than I've hoped for. Um, so I'm just going to pick these manually. And what I want to start with is I want, we can probably add filters here. What do we want? Well, we can set age groups to start with. Um, we don't want children and we don't want people like seniors because we want people to stay here for a while, but middle age, adult and youth is probably okay as well. Um, that sets all our specializations. Let's first, let's get scientists. And not, uh, let's, yeah, let's get some scientists first. Um, male, female, <laughs> other sex. Okay. Uh, we don't care about that for now. Um, we'll try to get a decent uh, mix, I guess. Then we have for perks, flaws, and quirks. Um, so, for instance, they can be a, a gamer. They can be fit, they can be a party animal, nerds, hippies, and it all gives them different um, it all gives them different bonuses. And the same with the with these. I'm just gonna leave that as uh, as it is. So see now I just filled it up with scientists because that was the filters I set. But I probably of the twelve, I probably want five scientists. So one, two, three, four, five. The rest of you guys are out. So I think that's a good place to uh, a good place to start. Uh, good combination. So we're gonna launch that rocket. Okay. So while we're waiting for the humans to arrive, we kind of have a little bit of an issue here. You can see here during the daytime, and this is when we're producing the most energy because of all this new stuff we built over here. We are now underproducing on electricity quite badly. So we need to expand. And question is, do we have? I hope we don't need too many metals. No, we just need. Uh, mechanicals, which we have a lot of. So I'm just going to expand this with more wind turbines. Okay, so problem is, I build a lot of wind turbines, but I don't have any, again, we're out of metals, because we don't have any humans to actually run those, um, that metal factory over there. Um, so we'll have to get the first batch of humans in, then I'll probably, oh, they're actually already here. So let's get those people in. We'll get those in, we'll set them to work. And then we'll begin building our second dome over here. But first, let's get those in. Because then we get the second dome. We'll begin to get some... Uh, oh, new. new colonists have arrived. Wait, do the robots have to get the humans? What are they bringing? Oh, they're bringing food with them. That's neat. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Look at them go. And I think the scientists have naturally chosen to work. Yes, the, the scientists have naturally chosen to work in the science centers. Medics, they've spread out, so they're taking two shifts there. Do we have people working the farms? We have people working, working the farms. We have a sector that's scanned with no resources. 
Um, okay, that's one up there. We're just gonna queue like the next set of sexes here to be scanned as well. There we go. So the last thing I think we will do today is we'll send that rocket off on its uh, way. Oh, hold on. Is this, does it still have resources on board? Oh, it still has food on board. But there's nowhere to store the food? I guess. Can we build storage for that so we can get that thing off the pad? How do we do that? Storage. Research complete. Food deposit. Can we build that in here? Outside building. Okay, let's build that uh, like here. Food storage. Yes, there we go. So now they are... Okay, we had some research also. Oh, that's a lot of stuff already. Um, oh god, I was waiting for this to be done. And now look at that. Look at that mess. The, our dump site is oh, have overflown. Or, so we need to build another dump site. I can't do anything with this dump site yet, which annoys me a lot. Uh, dump site. Yes, built it there. That's another dump site. What are you doing? Where are you taking the rocks? Why are you putting them down here? Who told you to do that? What are you doing? Don't put the rocks there. I built a dump site. Oh, okay. So now they're putting them into the dump site. Okay. Oh, okay. I hope they'll pick all these up as well. I'll probably build an extra dump site now that we're at it. We'll have to clear that out later. Do we have room for one up here? Yes, we do. Ready for takeoff. Okay, the rocket is now empty. So we're gonna send that thing off on its way. Launch the rocket and repair it back on the Earth. May lose the rocket. Okay. I'll perform maintenance. Okay. Goodbye, rocket. So now we should be able to order a new rocket and we will need a lot of metals and it'll also take a little bit of polymers and that thing is now on its way back to us perfect but that means we'll have a lot of metals we can then expand our power storage which is low we can also expand our oxygen production which is a little bit more critical um we are running down about half a tank of oxygen now and um, I guess that's a bad idea if that runs out, but we hope that the rocket will arrive in time for us to get the, the new oxygen supply up and running. Resources are low. Yes, I know resources are low, uh, but that will be in the next episode and uh, a little nerve wracking. Uh, oh, that was close. Oh, oh I don't like those. Um, but you'll hope, I hope you will join me in, uh, in the next episode and I hope that the rocket's going to arrive in time before all our new uh, inhabitants, they die of oxygen starvation. That would really be a... Um, I don't think it's going to be good for our small colony here. It's just give us a good rep if the first set of colonists who arrived here died of oxygen starvation. So, um, and the ran everything ran out of power as well. So that's wonderful. That's all going to be next time. I hope that you will join me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down and give it a like. And remember to subscribe to the channel. And then until next time, I will see you guys in space.